Hi, I'm Cheryl Broom, CEO of Gradcom. I've noticed a lot of job openings this summer for PIOs, chief communications officers, and marketing directors at colleges and universities. We have an aging population at our schools and they're retiring. These are also tough jobs that are burning people out. So I anticipate there are gonna be more job openings on the horizon. Running communications at a college is an exciting, albeit challenging job. I did it myself for 10 years and I learned and I did more than I could have ever imagined. If you are considering throwing your name in the hat for one of these jobs, I say do it. And to help you out, I wanted to share three things that I wish I had known when I first started as Director of Marketing and Communications at a community college. Number one, colleges tend to value collegiality over efficiency. I'm a doer, so I learned the hard way that I had to slow down and make sure I had done due diligence of engaging people around campus before implementing any major initiatives or spearheading change. My advice is to focus on process and involvement, even if that means that sometimes things take longer than you would like. Second, people will think that you are a miracle maker. <laughs> you will be called on to fill up theater seats and stadiums, to launch new programs in the community, to keep crises out of the news media, to come up with new taglines or new marketing campaigns, to keep enrollment growing. There is so much to do. Lean into partners and vendors to help you do it all and make sure you prioritize what is most important to the college and your college president. Third, you are a strategist first, but you're still gonna have to be a technician. The lead campus communicator should report to the college president or at least have a direct line of communication to that person. Find out what your president's top priorities are and focus on implementing those strategies. This job is not just about taking photos and posting on social media. Yes, you will have to be a person that gets things done, but your true value is in building alliances, bringing ideas, and positioning your college for success. If you are going out for a lead comms job, good luck. And if you already are that person, I'd love to know what top takeaways would you share with a new hire? Best of luck.